from the Exports Network. This is the final score. Welcome to the final score. I'm AJ Good with just two games going down last night, both of them at Loretto. Starting first on the lady side of things, as the Lady Mustangs of Loretto and the Lady Eagles of Summertown squared off for the first time this season in a matchup that many think will happen several times this year. First all time meeting between the Lady Eagles and the Lady Mustangs in the new gym at Loretto. Here in the first quarter, Emily Kozar getting the scoring going, knocking down the deep three pointer. Then JB Clifton driving in the paint, gets the finish the fall with the left hand. And Clifton from the corner. Quick release, and she's going to knock down the three. Then it's Clifton again, this time near the other corner. She's going to knock down another three. The Lady Mustangs led by 14 at the half. Moving ahead to the third, Summertown starts the comeback. It's Olivia Riggs from the corner for three. Then Braley Burleson here with the rebound, the putback, and the foul. Then it's Riggs again from NBA range. She's going to knock down another three. Then before the end of the third quarter, it's Abby Jo Schaefer coming up here with the rebound and the turnaround jumper for the putback. Loretto's lead has shrunk the four, heading to the fourth. In the fourth, it's Carly Campbell with the floater and the foul. She would have 12 points on the night. Then Burleson, the drive and the beautiful dish here to Schaefer for two of her team high 13 points as the Lady Eagles pick up their first lead. Now up Allie three, Weathers it's Allie Weathers up it. coming up with the Her rebound, the tough finish, and, and the foul. She, she would tie the game up. She would have 17 right. points. Later, the game tied at 44. Three, Weathers to Clifton for three of her game high 19 she points. So Lady Mustangs, Mustangs close out the game on a 9-0 run to win it 53 to 44. Coming up next, we switch things over to the boys' side where the Mustangs and the Eagles met up for the first time this season. Tired of driving into the city every time you need appliances, furniture, or heck, just about anything? Next time, stay local and come to Swap and Shop Center. We have everything you want from computers to furniture, major appliances, lawn and garden tools, electronics, you name it. Our number one goal is to get you the items you need at a price you can afford. We even offer 120 days same as cash financing. We won't be undersold. We specialize in service after the sale. We pick up where everyone else leaves off. Swap and Shop Center, family owned and operated in Lawrenceburg for over 61 years. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 Five. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco Product. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Avalon, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 460. Team Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's most dynamic furniture store, featuring our Made in America galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms, leather furniture, mattresses, and so much more. You want it? We've got it. With our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse, we're sure to have exactly what you want. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. From the Exports Network. This is the final score. Welcome back to the final score. Now heading over to the boys side of the Loretto and Summertown rivalry where they met up for the first time this year to kick off a district play. It's a matchup of two very good, very smart, very athletic teams. And again, just like the girls in a matchup that many think are going to happen several times this year. First all-time meeting between the Eagle Boys and the Mustang Boys in the new gym at Loretto. Here in the first quarter is Corbin Reynolds here with the drive, the nice fake, and the finish. Then later Reynolds going to lob it down low here for Mason Tidwell. Makes a nice move and gets the reverse lay-in to fall in. Then it's Jackson Robertson driving into the lane. Floats up, gets the finish and the foul. Then it's Reynolds once again going to work down low. Off the glass for two of his 14 points. 
Moving ahead to the they second quarter, trailing as many as 19. Summertown Gracie starts the comeback. Off the steal, Grayson Burleson with the drive and the finish. It it's Burleson again driving into the lane off of the contact, getting the finish and the foul. Then it's Burleson again going to the low paint, going off the glass with the right hand. Then Burleson. Grayson follows his shot, getting the rebound and the putback. He would have a game high 27. Loretta led by six at the half. Moving ahead to the third, it's Kurt Burleson off the glass for two of his 10 points. The lead down the four, but Loretto starts the run. It's Kaysen Bowie in the paint for two of his 13 points. Then Robertson, the football pass ahead here to Clint Seymour for the reverse lay-in. Then Tibwell going to work here in the paint. He goes up and under for two of his team high 20 points. And Seymour again with the drive and the finish. He would have 10 points on the night as the Mustangs go on to win this one, 72 to 59. That does it for the final score. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.